Now, while writing the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, this formula, I had discussed that this negative sign, sign is due to a specific reason. Okay? And why there should be a negative sign? And while di discussing experiment 1, I had also told you, uh, we will we'll come back to it and we will find out why the direction of the current was in a particular direction when magnet was moving in one particular direction. Fine. So, if, if we remember, I had drawn the coils something like this. Do we remember that? And it was something like this. And there was a galvanometer here. Correct? And I had started with a magnet whose north pole was this and whose south pole was this. And the moment this magnet moved into the coil to the to the left what had we said we had said that the current will flow in this direction no we had drawn it with black the other one when i was pulling it out was drawn in red just see whether that was the direction i had drawn hmm? Was that the direction? Hmm? Left. Kya? Copy nahi kya? You have not copied. Right? Experiment number one. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm? The, the first, when I was trying to move the magnet to the left then the direction was shown to be to be into the coil right i have a snapshot of of that right it was into the coil this is the snapshot from the video this is into the coil the black one right the same thing i have reproduced here now let us try to discuss this why that why that so what happens this is the law of inertia that is in action. What is the law of inertia? Things want to remain as they are. What does that mean in this case? What does that mean in this case? It means that the coil, when, when the magnet was, was, was at rest at this point, there was some amount of flux that was linked with the coil in this direction. Do you understand that? So the coil was something like this. Some amount of fluxes linked. Now you suddenly, suddenly take this magnet, north pole, and you suddenly push it like this. Fine. What happens? The north pole, as, uh, as, this, as this pole starts coming, coming nearer to the to this end of the coil, what happens? The field that originates from here, that starts becoming stronger. Is it not? As I go nearer to the pole, the field starts becoming stronger. So, so what do you think? In this direction, in this direction, that means in this direction, the flux goes higher. The flux tends to become higher in this direction. You understand? Hmm? Mind it, flux is a scalar. But what I am trying to do, that flux which, which is due to the field in this direction. Fine. So, so in that direction, due to the field in this direction, the flux becomes higher. Now, what this coil tries to do is, it does not want to, 
it does not want to change the original flux okay it does not want to change the original flux and how does it express its annoyance it not only does not like rather it the moment you try to you try to increase the flux like that it opposes you now try to think how can it oppose you you tried to increase the field in this direction so it generates a field in this direction that's how the opposition will be you are trying to push it like that it is trying to oppose you like this no you won't okay now to to create a field in this direction this coil will have to carry a current in this direction is it not the 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 part that is nearer to you in the coil that will have that that will that will like to have a current going in the downward direction then only it will be like that do we understand it clearly so it is exactly the same thing that is happening so if it goes like that then only it will come down like this and then only it will create a field like this and then only this field will oppose you oppose the magnet oppose the 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 field that you that you are trying to push in this direction now there is another manifestation this is one thing this is the most common you should always keep this in mind fine you should always keep this in mind and this is the most common thing that you should be applying but there is another kind of thing that happens if there is a current like this in this coil what happens is this part becomes a north pole no due to the induced current this becomes north and this becomes south now what happens it is actually trying to to push you away how is it opposing you by trying to push you away it does not support your movement so it says stay clear stay far understand hmm now that's why the wonder of wonders is the moment you would have liked to push it pull it to the right what would it have done so so you understand it does not want to let you come nearer huh it also does not want you to go farther so what happens had you pulled it like this and that i had shown in in red right so so if you wanted to pull it away what would it have done it would have created a current like that that would have created a north pole there and a south pole here and that would have pulled you back is it not if if this magnet was trying to go to the right it would have tried to pull you back okay looked in another way you can think it like this if this was a magnet and i was trying to pull it away so in this direction the field was going down correct because because this is becoming farther so the fields here are weaker so so weaker fields link the coil so the amount of flux is going to go down in that direction now it does not want that flux to go down so what it does it tries to it tries to to put its own own flux in that direction it tries to 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 push a flux in that direction and how does it do that by by pushing a field like this and how does it push a field like that by the right hand law by the right hand rule it will have to carry the current like this so so the part which is which is nearer to you that is the solid marked one that will start carrying a current in the 
upward direction you, you see that and the whole thing has changed if that is upward it comes like this and and it follows the red pattern do we understand and that is the lenses law that is the lenses law and what does it say what does it say verbatim technically it says that the polarity of induced emf is such that it tends to produce a current which opposes the change in magnetic flux that produced it so the lenses law states that the polarity of induced emf is such that the polarity of induced emf is such that it tends to produce a current it tends to produce a current which opposes the which opposes the change in magnetic flux change in magnetic flux that produced it it's a very simple thing to understand okay what is producing this induced current in the first case when i was pushing the magnet like that towards the left towards the left what was the what was that what was that flux which produced it the flux which tried to increase in this direction right so the so the magnetic field the induced current will be such that it will oppose it will oppose that very flux which produced it you know it got generated by change in flux and its direction will be such as to oppose that very flux the flux that was that actually produced it you know you can say that it's a rebel or kind of no it is opposing its own creator but that's how it is okay okay so so yes uh, or un quite unfaithful right it is opposing its own creator but that's how the world goes fine hmm now now why should that be i told you another way of understanding that but this is the most fundamental fundamental way to understand so never lose sight of it fine because there are places where where i i told you the other way other way is what when when hmm another way is what what is the another way of understanding hmm as the magnet moves to the left the right end of the coil tends to the right end of the coil tends to become a north pole so as to repel the magnet correct similarly as the magnet is pulled away as the magnet is pulled away the right end of the coil 
द राइट एंड ऑफ द कॉयल ट्राइज टू बिकम साउथ पोल सो दैट सो दैट द मैग्नेट इज पुल्ड बैक इन टू द पोजिशन पुल्ड बैक इन टू द ओरिजिनल पोजिशन ओके so the whole aim of the system is is to maintain the status quo right thus the aim of the system is to maintain the status quo always happens you try to push a crate it will oppose you hmm the frictional force if if you try to push a crate like that the frictional force is like this you try to pull it away it becomes like this it will always oppose you and the deeper you look at our society i see the same thing happening you try to change the status quo of the society the society will resist you do good or bad does not matter but it will always resist so there are many social workers which get depressed i was trying to do so much of good but there are people opposing me that is how the nature works you understand you try to do good people are dying you try to feed them they'll oppose you people are living peacefully you try to kill them they'll oppose you okay that's how the nature works why it works like that because otherwise anyone will be nature does not know what is good or bad right so anyone will be able to disturb its equilibrium and bring it somewhere else that's why it opposes it's good that it opposes okay you understand hmm so so great people jesus tried to change hmm people crucified him the more fierce you are the more fierce is the opposition it always happens it always happens right so if you just remember that there are all the physical phenomena all the physics everywhere everywhere you will find this phenomena in action and why is this phenomena in action that is explained by the second part of this the conservation of energy if it is not like that the conservation of energy will be violated fine so there is another insight by way of by way of conservation of energy okay see and this will convince you it should always be like that what happens this magnet was here I, i i i tried to move it to the left fine if this fellow didn't oppose me okay if this fellow didn't oppose me what will happen suppose instead of this becoming a north pole written in blue instead of that when i was shifting it to the left it developed a north pole so it actually opposed me suppose instead had it supported me hmm that means it would have become a south pole that means that means how can that become a south pole if the induced current was as shown in the red instead of as shown in the black if the current was as shown in the red then what would have happened this would have become south and this would have become north now try to think this starts supporting the the magnet the the change that produced it if it supports it it will start pulling the magnet towards it so the magnet will accelerate and if the magnet accelerates the rate of change of the flux also becomes higher so it produces 